Hey, John here for JMC Garage. Obviously, I'm not in the JMC Garage. I'm at my local Ford dealership. And the reason why I'm here is there's been a lot of controversy lately about the F-150. Now, what I have here is a 2025 behind me, power boost, as you can see there. But this video is referring to the, sorry for the traffic in the background, but this video is referring to the power boost and the three and a half liter twin turbo V6 offered on the 26 F-150s. The reason why I'm talking about these guys and the reason why I'm here today is there is a change coming for these F-150s that Ford has been slowly introducing in their lineup, depending on the engines, and that is the addition of a gasoline particulate filter. Now, as you all know, I'm pretty much against gasoline particulate filters for three reasons. And let me explain to you what those reasons are and just so you can judge for yourself if you want that in your future vehicle or not or to stay away from vehicles with this particular technology because it's not just Ford. Volkswagen and others are introducing this in their future vehicles and they're already in current production now. So let me give you three reasons why I'm totally against gasoline particulate filters. Number one is efficiency. Now, they claim that the truck's gonna be just as efficient as it were before, but here's the thing. When the trucks are kind of choked up in their exhaust, it makes the engine have to work harder to get the same amount of exhaust particles or the same amount of exhaust gases out the tailpipe. And when you have a big honking gasoline particular filter or a particular filter in general, the engine has to work that much harder to push those exhaust gases out of its tailpipe. So because it has to work harder, it's going to be less efficient. Also, there is a thing called passive regeneration. So you have standard regeneration, you have passive regeneration. The theory is every time you hit the gas pedal hard on a gasoline truck equipped with those particular filters, you're going to cause a regeneration so it can blow out the soot, the nastiness, all out the tailpipe. Well, when you do that, guess what? It uses more fuel. This is like 101 of how engines work. I, I don't understand why people think gasoline particular filters are a good thing. So number one, it's gonna make the engine less efficient. Oh, also, number two, one of the things I wanted to talk about is it's gonna make the engine not only less efficient, but it's also gonna make the engine not do well as far as reliability. It's gonna shrink the reliability. You're introducing a thing that has not been proven itself well in the diesel market, and there's spotty response over in the European market where these are already being made, and it's been a touch and go with the reliability. Frankly, with another addition of not only the particular filter, but the, the checks and the air lines that have to go to them so we can check with the sensors, I just think it's another thing that's gonna go wrong. And it's another thing that these trucks do not need. And lastly, the biggest reason why I'm against GPS and gasoline particular filters, especially on the F-150 and other vehicles that have it, is your less horsepower. 2026, the F-150 behind me with the power boost is going to be down on horsepower compared to 2025. Same thing with the three and a half liter EcoBoost V6. It's going to be down almost 20 horsepower. In fact, a little bit more than that for 2026 because of that stupid gasoline particular filter. It makes the engine have to work that much harder to produce what it was producing and in fact it, it's making it not only work that much harder but now it's able to, to detract from that horsepower i've driven it and you may be like well john you have no experience yes i have because i've driven the bronco sport 1.5 liter which has a gasoline particular filter and i've driven the bronco sport and the ford escape that don't have it and the ones that don't have it are more peppy they get better fuel mileage and i would say they're probably more reliable too and I've driven the Bronco Sport, the new 2025, with the gasoline particulate filter. And those things are dogs. They get poor fuel mileage. And I would say down the long road, you're going to have another maintenance item to worry about. That truck sounds absolutely horrible. You're going to have another maintenance item to worry about that you shouldn't have to. So I'm going to say this right now as I close out this video. I know this video is not very long, but... I. I'm just upset because car makers like Ford and others are putting these stupid particular filters on their turbocharged direct injected engines, even though the three and a half liter is supposed to be direct and port injected. I try to say direct and port at the same time. Direct and port injected. They don't need the filter. They do not need it. And it's a sad thing that, that 
Ford and others are kind of giving in to the car of an EPA uh, to put these stupid filters on their trucks, on their vehicles, when they shouldn't be doing that at all. So I'm going to say this. As I'm closing out this video, I personally, if I can help it, will not purchase a vehicle with this technology on it. I don't care who makes it, Ford, Volkswagen, whoever. If it has this technology, I'm not purchasing a vehicle, and I want you guys to do the same. You don't want this headache, you don't need this headache, and it shouldn't be on vehicles to begin with. So let's speak with our wallets. Let's go ahead and not purchase vehicles. If, if you're looking at a brand new 2026 F-150, look at the 27, look at the five liter. They're not gonna have it, unlike the three and a half liter and the power boost. Or get a 2025, these are, on, these are on clearance right now. Pick these trucks up before the 26s come in. But what I'm saying is, do not get this gasoline particulate filter at all. That means you may not have to, you may not be able to pick up a 26 Maverick. You may not be able to pick up a 26 uh, Bronco Sport. I'm just saying, don't get them at all. Awesome. I'm gonna take a stand. I'm gonna say I'm gonna ban against gasoline particulate filters on my vehicles. They shouldn't be on any vehicles. And I'm gonna take a stand against it by not purchasing another vehicle with that technology. If I can help it. <laughs> all right. You guys, I'd like to know your thoughts. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification. we got new videos coming every week. Appreciate you guys. You guys be blessed, and we will catch you on the next one.